Hello, Dr. Stu here of the drstu.com and the 2020from.com. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about what I would consider to be the step one of permanent fat loss, okay? Step one of permanent fat loss. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. And uh, because if you understand this, by the way, uh, you've won 50% of the battle as far as fat loss is concerned. Now, this... Um, very video has been provoked by a letter that I received recently from one of you guys and he said um, hi Dr. Joe um, uh, this is based on uh, the last video that I did actually uh, and uh, the guy says uh, hi Dr. Joe in your last video you talked about how reduction of sugar will help with our fat loss efforts how much reduction should we execute and uh, is there a threshold that you suggest uh, good question. So uh, I'm going to uh, answer this question uh, with this very principle that I'm going to be talking about. And I'm also going to illustrate what I mean by that with some of the foods that uh, I showed to you guys in the very last video. So uh, yeah, it promises to be interesting. But what I'm going to say here is not new. It's not necessarily groundbreaking. But it's important that you understand it. Okay. So uh, here's what I mean. So I've titled it uh, Step 1 of Permanent Fat Loss, which is what it is. And I've said here, you want to eat foods that are low in sugar and simple carbs. Okay? Foods that are low in sugar and simple carbs. And we also want to limit or avoid refined carbs. Okay? Why do we want to do that? Why do we want to do that? Well, it's to prevent sugar spikes and to also prevent corresponding uh, insulin spikes as well, okay? Because when you eat foods that are high in sugar, when you eat foods that have simple sugars in them, when you eat refined carbs, which are easily digestible to the simple sugars, all of that will result in a quick rise in your blood sugar levels. And once you have a quick rise in your blood sugar levels, your pancreas is going to respond by pushing out insulin and then you end up with insulin spikes and once you have insulin spikes when you have high levels of insulin insulin is a fat storing hormone that's what it does okay amongst other things of course but it locks away the fat okay insulin locks away the fat such that it makes it difficult for you to burn that fat uh, even when you exercise you're not going to be able to shift that fat because insulin locks it up so um and, and that's the reason we keep banging on about sugar and the refined carbs you know the thing is people tend to blame carbs for uh, their weight gain issues where to some extent they are right however the problem carbs are the the sugar as well as the refined carbs okay because the refined carbs are easily digestible they're the ones that cause the insulin problems and the insulin locks away the, uh, the the fat. Now, you can eat carbs, but usually you should be aiming for healthy, complex carbs, okay? As opposed to the refined carbs, as opposed to the simple carbs, okay? That distinction is very, very important. So, uh, now let's move on to uh, the threshold, which is uh, the second part of the question. What's the threshold that uh, I will advise? Now, what I've said here, I've said, do not exceed 5% sugar content, okay? Uh, and that translates to 5 grams of the sugar in 100 grams of that particular food, okay? Do not exceed 5%. If you push it, if you push it, maximum 7%, okay? Maximum 7%. But ideally, 5 grams of sugar in that food and below. 5 grams and below is what you should be aiming for. Even then, okay, even then, uh, you do not want to do this more than uh, three times a week, okay? If you must eat those sugary foods that have 5% or 7%, you do not want to do that more than three times a week. And of course, this applies to food and drink, okay? This applies to food and drink. So, uh, how do you go about doing this? Well, when you go shopping, just look at the food labels, okay? Every food label is going to have a column for uh, the nutrients in 100 grams. So for instance, uh, this is the alpha muesli that I showed to you guys in the last video. 
and it's got uh, of course you've got energy you've got fat you've got carbs uh, you've got sugars you've got fiber protein and salt uh, in this 100 grams uh, column so what you want to be looking out for is just focus on that 100 gram column and look out for the carbs and the sugar content so in particular you want to pay attention to the sugar content so for instance this one if you remember i said it had 21 grams of sugar in 100 grams of uh, this uh, alpine muesli so we don't want that because it's more than the five grams that we desire uh, what else then we have this fruit cake uh, this fruit cake here has uh, 31.5 grams of sugar in 100 grams of this fruit cake so we'd not want that we have to avoid that uh, what else we've got these blueberry muffins here uh, they've got 28.6 uh, grams of sugar in a hundred grams of these uh, uh, blueberry muffins and uh, what else we've got this chocolate here that has um, uh, how much 49 grams of uh, uh, sugar in a hundred grams of this uh, uh, chocolate what else we've got these Oreos cookies here uh, Oreos cookies got 30 grams of uh, sugar in 100 grams of these Oreos cookies. So we do not want this, neither do we want this as well. All of these are above the 5 grams that I'm recommending, um, or even the 7 grams if you really want to push it. That's the reason we don't want to eat these foods, because when we consume them, they're going to cause uh, a sugar spike and of course a corresponding insulin spike and that is the beginning of a problem uh, because once we have high insulin levels insulin will go ahead and lock the fat away and we will find it difficult to burn that fat because uh, insulin is very good at locking that fat away and that constitutes a problem even when you exercise you're not going to be able to shift that fat because of the effect of insulin of course there are other things you can do to keep your insulin levels low uh, but uh, that's the subject for another video but the first thing you want to do is to reduce your sugar consumption, your consumption of simple carbs uh, and also your consumption of refined carbs because refined carbs, they are easily digestible uh, into the simple sugars which will get absorbed and that will cause the uh, sugar spike as well as the insulin spike that I'm already talking about. So, um, you know, once you understand this, uh, you've won 50% of the battle and uh, you know you will never have problems with uh, fat loss again because even when you do gain the weight uh, it's very easy for you to titrate it down because uh, you just need to keep away from all of these sugary foods okay they might be tasty because they got sugar in them uh, and that's the reason they cause problems for us so uh, yeah that's that's all you need to do uh, that's the step one of permanent fat loss that i want to share with you guys so hopefully you got some value from this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up please like the video and also please share this video with your friends your family and your colleagues if you've got any questions regarding what i've just said here go ahead leave your questions down below uh, and uh, any other comment that you have go ahead leave your comments down below i think that's about it until next time well this is dr just signing out